don't you miss boring? Well, today, we're uniting to bring boring back as quickly as possible, but not so quickly that it gets exciting. You know, we're asking every Canadian to purchase this t-shirt, and as you can see, it's boring as f***. It's a black shirt, white type, not even a, not even a serif font. It's like we put no thought into this whatsoever. Plus, it comes in up to one color. This shirt is so unremarkable that it actually renders its wearer completely invisible. Uh, for instance, I'm, I'm quarantining with my mother-in-law, and she's been looking for me for days. Why are we doing this? Well, 100% uh, of the proceeds of this horrific shirt are going to go to buying PPE to, to frontline personnel and our most vulnerable communities. Now, I know that's not an exciting prospect or point, but the faster we get those guys protected, the faster they get us back to boring. Ryan! Are you in here, darling? Could have sworn I heard his voice. I just want to say a massive thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the wonderful healthcare workers out there for their incredibly selfless work and efforts during this crisis. Thank you so much. We're beyond appreciative. Alright, Aaron, just want to do some... Uh, just need to do some curls, mate. What are you sitting there? You can't get to the gym. You've got to get it done, mate. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Back. It's the roof. And you know how that Thor film was shut down in Australia? It wasn't anything to do with COVID-19. It's yes. because I got the hammer. You have Mjolnir? I have Mjolnir here. And I can look, look how easy I can lift it. So I looked for all of these things for you, but I, so I couldn't find the ears, but I did find the hammer. Mm hmm Okay. Well, thank you so very that's much. What, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of cleaning with the kids. Cleaning out the attic. Workout number two, 35 minutes down. Bang. Hit them goals, baby. Okay, so first you melt some sugar and you pour it on the knots and then you beat them. You beat them and then you take the pieces and you put it on the mold. Then you take some chocolate. Just to have a little bit of milk. My husband likes the milk chocolate. I like it dark. And then you make it into pieces. Make sure you don't eat all of it. Okay. You have the eggs on top of, of um, olla. I don't remember in English. And you put water in the olla. This is called baño maria in Spanish, but I don't know in English. It's just a pot with water and then something on top of it. Then you pour the chocolate in here and you melt it slowly and you mix it. Make sure you cut them. This one. 
Yummy, 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 yummy. Take the bowl out of the water and pour the chocolate here. Careful that your kids don't take the banana for breakfast and put it on your melted chocolate. Okay, now we're gonna make the dark chocolate and we're gonna make it with cayenne pepper. And this one, you have to make it very small, the chocolate, because otherwise it doesn't melt. Okay, Valentina, enough. Oh my God. Okay, don't. Oh, Valentina. It's not that I'm lazy for washing, is that I want to use some of the leftover from the milk chocolate and mix it with the dark chocolate. It's a little bit, it can get a little bit dirty, but it's okay. I'm going to wash my hands afterwards for 20 seconds, singing Happy Birthday to the Easter Bunny. It's melted or melting. I'm going to put my favorite thing, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper so that it's spicy, spicy dark and chocolate. The last ingredient to make it extra Mexican, we're gonna put some tequila. Yes. No, 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 chocolate. No, it's not your chocolate. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna pour it. Okay, what? We put the dark chocolate. This one I put a lot of. Um, Candy, you know, sugar yeah. and almonds. <laughs> Ta -da! They are absolutely delicious and very festive. Happy Easter. Felices Pascuas. Uh, hello, I am Sebastian, and today I will be reading a little book called I Love You to the Moon and Back. Um, I love this book, and uh, I just want to say thank you to Save, Save the Stories for uh, including me in this great cause. No child should go hungry ever or be deprived of storytelling. So, without further ado, especially now, to each and every one of you, I love you to the moon and back. I love our time together as we start our happy day. I love our bad time silliness, the way we splash and play. We'll climb the highest mountaintops, so hang on tight and you won't fall. <sighs> I love to share the magic. And to think of all the different ways that we can share our love. Like when we're touching noses, playing chase, or seeing friends a year from now. Our love is always with us, and it never, ever. So, snuggle safely in my arms. Our day is nearly done. I love you to the moon and the stars, my precious little one. <laughs> That's right, we have a moon, it exists, and you should love somebody to the moon and back. So, Stay safe out there. I'm Zoe Saldana, and I'll be your host for this episode, where you'll join me in making mouth-watering macaroons paired with un cafecito. Let's get this party started.
So good. Hi, Zoe Saldana here. I just wanted to send a little message to the whole team that keeps together. Hi everyone, it's Zoe Saldana. I am here to share with you a number. And if, um, here's my cell phone, write it down. Seven. Hi everybody, it's Zoe Saldana. I'm reaching out because um, I want you to reach out and connect. Send me a text, send me a text, tell me about yourself, ask me a question. If you're curious, I will. I want to connect and I uh, want to hear how you guys are doing, especially during this time. Are you staying safe? Are you healthy? Are you sane? Hit me up. Let's talk. Remember, we're in this together. It's April 15th. It's Jackie Robinson Day. That's right. It's still Jackie Robinson Day. I can't think of a better time to remember my hero. And he's the hero of uh, many of you out there than this time that we're in, this pandemic. Um, I can't think of a better way to commemorate everything that he was about than to announce uh, the partnership between Tolco and Figs. You know, Figs is, is uh, one of the companies that's the designer and man manufacturer of modern medical apparel. Um, and Tolco is basically my friend Thomas Toll, who, uh, through the company Legendary Produce 42. Um, Tolko and Figs is donating 4.2 million, 4.2 for 42, in protective medical equipment in honor of Jackie Robinson Day. You know, for the last couple of weeks, we found that the statistics um, for COVID-19 have shown that the African-American community has been hit the hardest. The Latino community has been hit the hardest, and that's partially because um, we're the frontline workers. We're the ones still going to work, we're the ones still driving the buses, but in the hospitals and in the, in the medical field, we're the EMTs, we're the ones who are, you know, going to battle every day. Um, and in some of the hospitals that are servicing, you know, our people, there's just not the, there's not enough equipment. There's, there's, there's not enough um, you know, masks, there's not enough gloves, there's not, there's not enough isolation gowns. And so what Tolco and Fix is doing is they're going to ex execute the distribution of, of those scrubs, of those masks, of those isolation gowns to those hospitals that have been impacted the most. Um, and that's what we need. That's the leadership we need. So I applaud Thomas Toll. You know, he he filled in the gap when we were doing 42, you know, the the there were people that didn't believe in it. And um, it's the same thing happening right now. You know, we, throughout this process, the federal government and the states have not exactly come together. You know, the federal government has not made sure those companies that provide, um, you know, that, that they put a bid in and then distribute as needed the equipment. The same thing is happening with the tests. You know, the federal government has to put a bid in and, um, you know, make sure that the prices don't get driven up on the states, that especially the ones that need it the most. And then that can be distributed properly. So we we need leadership like this um, in order to fill in the gap. So there are others of you out there who, who um, can work in, in similar ways uh, until the states and, and, the, and the federal government get it together. Um, but we can't wait. We can't allow people to die in, in, in that process and they're, they're working it out. So Jackie Robinson, they're still alive. We're still still in second base. We're still still in third base. We're still still in home. And so uh, let's celebrate him today in those those uh, hospitals and those those uh, medical organizations that are that are doing the work we can't just say you know we appreciate them let's let's get them what they need in chicago in michigan you know in you know in the various places that they need it so happy jackie robinson day happy hashtag operation 42 that's what this is operation 42 4.2 million um thomas told you the man 
Hey guys, it's Josh again for another episode of From the Inside. Um, I really appreciate you guys subscribing. It's been great. We have so many followers now and we're raising tons of something, animals. And so this episode, this week's episode is about breathing. It's about the importance of breath. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice a few breathing techniques. Um, the best thing to do just in general is to exhale and then, or sorry, exhale, then inhale, or it can be vice versa. You can inhale and then exhale. Sometimes it's great to do it with, uh, music in the background. Sometimes it's great to do it with a hat on. You can do it uh, inside, outside, you can do it with a mask on. I don't have a mask with me cause I'm at home. But any time that we go out for any reason, we, we always wear a mask. We're lucky enough to have a mask. Um, there's other things you can do, too, if you have kids um, with part of the exhaling routine. Um, I don't know what kind of books you have for your kids. I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff that you've, that you've accumulated in order to entertain your children. But you can also do this, and this is kind of fun. Um, just close your eyes or here, look. You can close your eyes, just sit for a second, breathe in and, e and inhale. And then when you exhale, and then inhale, and then exhale. So those are two versions. Um, one is the equine version and one is more the loin or bacon type version. If you're a vegan, um, you can't do this type of breathing. Um, you should just do a straightforward breath. Inhale, exhale, and think of, I don't know, parsley or something. Um, but there's another one. I mean, if you're, if you're, you know, in another country, you could do this. Inhale, exhale. But that's not here in America. That's more of the foreign version. Um, let's try that one again, actually. Ready? Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Okay. So there you go, guys. I'm doing what I can. I, You know, Jason Momoa on Ellen. I saw this thing today. Wash your hands like you're washing Jason Momoa. I'm doing what I can during this time. Okay. Um, thanks. Uh, stay safe, stay sterile, stay clean, stay sterile. Double entendre. See ya. Hey guys, it's Josh Brolin involving himself uh, in the Steinbeck from Home campaign. I'm reading Cannery Row, John Steinbeck. This is for the Steinbeck Center in Salinas, California, which is close to my hometown, Templeton, California, and which I've visited many times and is wonderful. So if you can donate, donate to the Steinbeck Center in Salinas, California. Here we go, page one. Lee Chong's grocery, while not a model of neatness, was a miracle of supply. It was small and crowded, but within its single room, a man could find everything he needed or wanted to live and be happy. Clothes, food, both fresh and canned, liquor, tobacco, fishing equipment, machinery, boats, cordage, caps, pork chops. You could buy at Lee Chong's a pair of slippers, a silk kimono, a quarter pint of whiskey, and a cigar. You could work out combinations to fit almost any mood. I, I don't know what happened to the rest of that Steinbeck thing, but that was Cannery Row. So um, Steinbeck Center, Salinas, California. Please donate if you can. And I'm sorry it cut off the rest of it. Or I'm not sorry, <laughs> depending on your perception of listening to this uh, amazing writer who I love so much. All right, guys, thank you so much.